Up next on Sci-Fi Fantasy, Modeler's Tube. Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin from SciFiAnesty.com and welcome to another YouTube video. Well, your buddy Kenny is back from Florida after a five week vacation and more of a workcation and an 18 hour road trip yesterday. That should have only been 16 hours, but Virginia, Maryland and Delaware screwed me over. I lost two hours and I got home at eight o'clock. But even though I am dead tired, I want to make a few videos and I'm home alone for two weeks so hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of stuff done on the bench and stuff like that but like I said I had a big trip yesterday I'm a little tired so if I stumble over some words excuse me I'll correct myself and we'll move on so let's talk about the major portion of this video we're going to talk about a few things during the video but the major thing is modelerstube.com well you may be asking yourself what is modelers tube modelers tube is a dedicated video hosting site specifically for our hobby you know, including model building, cosplay, scratch building, whatever falls into the hobby, that can go on the site. We don't want anything else on here. Like some people may put some stuff on here that do not belong. If it's reported, it's gonna go. And that's the only thing that'll go. If it has no relation or it's spam or something like that, see ya. Why am I making this site? Well, I've been talking to a few people and I know a bunch of people have already left YouTube because they didn't like how YouTube is treating the people that are putting videos up on YouTube. I've heard about some builders actually now that are speaking in kind of code so they don't get in trouble talking about historical things. I've heard of YouTube taking down some modeling videos that dealt, dealt with historical things such as World War II German airplanes that may have had a schwastiker on them or a Luftwaffe symbol and somebody had reported it and it's taken down. Let me tell you this, if you come to Modeler's Tube, there will be no taking down of historical information. If you're building a German aircraft from World War II and you have a schwastiker on the tail and you're talking about it, how you put it on, how you laid the decal, or the significance of the certain Nazi symbol that may be on that aircraft, guess what? That's historical. That happened. It's staying. I'm not going to censor anybody from saying that. Like I said, the only thing we would censor is spam. If it's something like on sites where you see the stupid freaking videos of them trying to sell sunglasses or something like that, see you later. We don't need that. All we want is the hobby and what we're interested in and stuff like that. We want to keep it to what we got. So let me explain to you how the site works. Now, you may come to the site and you'd be like, oh, this is just a basic site. Yes, it is a basic site right now because we're in our infancy stage. We got it up and running. The site works. You can register. You can share your work to the other social sites. You can link in your work and you can upload your videos. So why is it so basic? It's the beginning. We have a lot to do on the site and I can't code, but Tommy can code. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna see what people want and we're gonna see things that we're missing and Tommy is gonna code and he's gonna get it up to snuff where we want it and you know, all the things we need, we're gonna leave out features we don't really need, but put features in. Like one main feature right now that's missing is thumbnails. A lot of people like to use them. I like to use them myself. It's not there yet. It will come, and when it does come, you can always go back to your videos and add a thumbnail. But you gotta be patient with us because we're trying to bring you something like the other three sites, Sci-Fi Annecy, Model Builder International, and HLI. We're bringing you sites this way. We don't have to go to those giant social media outlets where maybe we're seeing a ton of things that we don't want to see and it's ruining the experience of trying to find, you know, a specific build or something you've seen and you want to see it again. Every site we have is dedicated to the hobby and that includes the new site, modelerstube.com. Modelerstube.com, we're going to have how-to videos on it. I'm going to be making some of those tonight before I fall asleep and I'll be making more this way you know how to use the site and how you can do your header image on your channel. I mean you're going to have your own channels, you can create your own playlists, you can like videos, you can comment on them, you can dislike them. You're going to have all that stuff and I'm going to teach you how to use all of it in upcoming videos and I'm going to put those on the site this way you know how to use it. Just to ask, I hope some of you or all of you and everybody out there that's in the hobby comes to modelerstube.com and uses it. This way we can see a ton of great videos. Um, how you get the videos on there is uh, you can link them in. You can go to YouTube, grab the link, bring them in, and you'll have your whole video there. Or you can upload them. 
If you upload them, we do compress your files because I'm guilty of this myself. After doing a video, I'll throw it onto Premiere Pro. I'll render it and it'll go right into my folder and I won't throw it in my encoder. If I don't throw it in the encoder, my file's anywhere between a gig and almost two gigs. If I threw it in the encoder, it would crush it down to anywhere between 150 megabytes and maybe 700 megabytes, depending on how it encodes it and how it works. Why do we ask to encode it or why do I have a compressor on the site? Is because we can't all be throwing two gig files on there because I only have so much server space. I'm not as big as Google. I don't have a million servers right now. I got a few servers and it'll be able to handle what we're doing. So that's why we crush them down. The smaller the file, the more space we'll have, the more videos we can put up. Now, if HobbyTube takes off where people enjoy it and they're tired of the other things and they have a spot where they can see all the hobby videos, at some point I may run out of server space and need more servers. Now I've never asked anybody for donations or I've never made anybody pay to be on the sites. That's because those sites don't eat up that much server space. This site, if it takes off, it's going to eat up server space and so at some point it may be a pay site. And when I say it's a pay site, it's not going to be like $20 a month to join or anything like that. If we have a lot of people and we ask for a dollar or two, we're probably this way we can get bigger servers and stuff like that. And if we get enough server size, we can always take away having to pay monthly and it'll run on its own. But if it gets to the point where I need more servers, I'm not a multi-billionaire, unfortunately, otherwise I'd put it all up for free for you. But if it, where, that's in the future. If it gets to that point, it gets to that point. So like I said, I'm gonna put up videos on how to use Modeler's Tube. This way you can check it out, go do what you gotta do, and we hope you all come over there. If you have any questions about it, you could always drop it in the comment section below or email me and I'll always answer your questions. So the next couple of things are going to be about sci-fi fantasy. So we're going to be doing our second annual Halloween group build. So we hope you come and join that. We're going to start at August 7th and it's going to run to Halloween like last year. And if it, we get a lot of people, I'm either going to do a slideshow video and we'll post that up Halloween night or if I can, I go live Halloween night and we'll have a live slideshow. We'll get everybody together and show off everybody's work and do it that way because a live show is always cool. Um, I, I don't think I'd get in costume or anything like that because I don't have anything cool, but you never know. So we're going to do that. Next up after that is our Sci-Fi Fantasy Christmas giveaway. I always mention this early, around August time, to let you guys know. The Sci-Fi Fantasy Christmas giveaway is only for members of Sci-Fi Fantasy that actually use the site. And you may think, how does he know? I can tell who's using the site by a system we have in the back end and I can see who's using it. And then what we do is we put all those names in the raffle and at Christmas time we give away three gifts. This year I don't know what it's going to be. Probably airbrushes again because everybody always loves getting an airbrush. So we're going to do that again. Once the rules are up I'm going to make a video and you can come check it out. Hopefully you register, you become part of the community and you'll have your chance at a Christmas gift by us. I donate them all. The wife gives me permission and I give away three gifts every year and hopefully this year is your lucky year. And the last thing we're going to talk about is our Christmas Secret Santa that we do on Sci-Fi Fantasy. We started this last year, we were exchanging gifts and we had the rule that you had to build it by this Christmas Eve. But unfortunately, a lot of people have family things going on or work things or other builds and stuff like that so they can't be built right away. So we're going to change up that rule. We want to see them built. We don't want it just to go in your stash, but if it takes you, you know, a year, a couple of years to build it, as long as you're showing us progress and a finished build, that's great. And we're going to change that up. So this way people have more time to build. The other thing we're going to try to change up, if we have a lot of people from across the pond signing up, we are going to have them as a separate secret Santa because it does become a lot of money with buying the gift and then shipping it out. You know, last year we had a lot more people in the United States doing it. So it was cheaper for us to buy it, ship it from New York to New Jersey. It was no big deal. There were a few people that shipped from the US over or from the UK over this way and it became a lot of money. So if we have more people on that side this year, we'll section them off and we'll have a secret Santa where they swap on that side of the world and we'll have one on this side of the world. So if you're interested in that, that's gonna be in our groups at sci so you can come check that out. So that's pretty much it on the topics. Look for the Modeler's Tube how-to videos. And, oh, that's one more thing I was gonna say. 
My videos are going to be different now that I have my own site. I'm going to be personally uploading my videos now to my own hosting site, modelerstube.com. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably make a little snippet. I'll throw it on YouTube. This way you know I have a new video up and then you can come over and watch it on Modeler's Tube. So I'm not gonna upload full videos anymore of mine on YouTube itself. It'll all be over there. You just gotta come watch them. You don't even have to register to watch them if you like watching them. I hope you do. So that's pretty much it. As always, if you have any questions or comments, just throw them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible because either my computer goes bling or my phone goes bling and I get it instantly and I usually answer you like that. If not, I'm busy or I'm sleeping from this trip. So thanks everybody for stopping by and checking it out. If I rambled on or I didn't make sense, I'm sorry I had a long trip, but the how-to videos on Modeler's Tube is gonna tell you a lot more than I told you tonight. And look for a bunch of review videos from Green Strawberry, because I'm back. Now I can take care of Lucas's reviews of all the new stuff he sent in and look for that during the week and hopefully I'll be building something that's on the desk. Thanks a lot, everybody. I hope you have a great night and it's great talking to you all again. Take care and bye-bye.